Hey everyone, popping in to say hello. Hi! Welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, my name is Susie. Welcome to Dragonfly Bee's Resale Journey. In this video, it's part two of the unboxing of the 18 pound uh, jewelry lot that I purchased from shopgoodwill.com. So, let's just jump right in and see what else I have. So why don't we go over some bracelets? Grab the bunch. So let's start with this one. This here is the stainless steel stretch bracelet. You'll see on the inside, each one of those panels say stainless steel. There's two little charms that hang on it. One is a moon and one is a star. I'm thinking this may be for a, a man. Uh, because the circumference is nine inches so we have this one it's in great condition it's stainless steel it will not tarnish next we have this really nice multi-strand multi-metal multi-color metal tone uh, hinged well I guess that's a fold over clasp um, bracelet. It's in great condition. All it needs is a really good polish and uh, and you're set. So let's see. I don't know. I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking eight maybe. Let's see. Yeah, this is approximately eight inches uh, in length. So we have uh, we have this really nice one. This next one is um, is vintage. Uh, it is also multi-strand. You'll, you'll notice that the outer strands have really nice detailed uh, bars. And the center strand is a rhinestone strand that extends over to the top and the bottom. But there is one rhinestone missing right there. There's these um, very, uh, I guess, frosty round beads. It needs some, it needs some TLC. Really pretty detailing all around. Um, that's what it looks like on the back side. And that's what it would look like on. Let's measure this one. Fold over that clasp. And this one here is, uh, yeah, seven inches. So we have this, uh, this beauty that needs to be revived. All right, let's go over some things that I'll be putting into a craft lot. Uh, we have these silver tone pyri pyramid-like stretch bracelets. So these two will go there. Um, let's see what else. Okay, these three nice bangles. Um, they have this wire work with these uh, black beads all around. Great condition, but um, yeah, these will also join the others. Here's some silver tone bangles. Here's a gold polished one. This is a ivory enamel one that has a lot of uh, wear and uh, yeah they're gonna be added to the craft lot this here is a howlite um, stone on this very worn leather magnetic bracelet and um, yeah this will be added here too this is a bracelet that's broken over here. Um, it has this very soiled ribbon going through the center. Yeah, and there's the back. So yeah, this um, can be repurposed for components. This will go to the craft lot. This here is a really large clamper bracelet um, black enamel 
lots of uh, schmutz. And um, I'm sure it can be cleaned off, but I'll go to the craft lot as well. Okay, let's see. Oh, these are stretch bracelets, but these are like better ones. And they come in this coral color, well, kind of orange and yellow. And there is a tag on both of them. Ma Sherry Cosette. And there's actually a question mark at the end of Cosette. Um, this is a Japanese company uh, in Tokyo. And they, uh, they teamed up with Sailor Moon. Um, so they make uh, these type of bracelets with different charms. Like Sailor Moon has that bow. So they made that once. Um, yeah. But they're, they're, they're very nice. So this will also end up in the craft lot. Oh, by the way, you crafters, if you have purchased a craft lot item from me um, and you repurposed it and made something new, can you please send me a before and after shot? I love to include them in my video just to show the creativity and just I have so many subscribers who are so talented and they make really amazing jewelry so yeah if you could do that that'd be awesome okay, next we have this really pretty wow this is glass um, and it has these animal prints and a very special closure you see the button and that hole so this has a um, an actual patent number on there uh, written down and also on the other side it does say something patent 2000 2007 so we have this very pretty glass bead bracelet and um, this one measures it's a little uh hmm a little over eight inches you think yeah I think so we have this one here so talk about glass look at this one lamp work this is a stretch bracelet and the stretch is okay yeah look at these colors Look at this fun um, glass bead. Oops, dropped the tape measure. Uh, lamp work um, stretch bracelet. There's dolphins, there's charms. <clears throat> what else do we have? Oh, Cupid. A cross. And back to dolphins. Okay. So we have this one. I think this is really very nice. Here we have another stretch bracelet and this one, the stretch is very good as well. But look, it has glass, black glass, faceted beads, it has these really beautiful ornate bead caps and this um, cloisonne style. Uh, design look at that little cylinders a puffy heart a really nice bead a few of them wow this is a this is a nice very pretty uh very pretty bracelet and it has these uh two silver tone beads with the ribbing so we have this very pretty bracelet. Okay, next is another stretch bracelet, but this one I would say if you do purchase it, it needs to be restrung. The stretch is not, not as good because it's a little stiff, but look at the beads. These beads are gorgeous. So we have this one. 
Next up is this one. This is heavy. These are glass beads with the uh, gold spacers, but something's going on with this one. Okay, it has that lobster clasp on one end, and there's a jump ring hanging off of it. But look at the other side. What? Okay, this is nice, but someone needs to repair this. Uh, this, as is, is um, seven inches in length. But we have this really pretty, these beads are heavy. Um, these are like Clausen style too. Bracelet that needs TLC. Next we have this leather, black leather snap bracelet. Wow. You're being hypnotized. Look at that. Wow. Um, okay. It has this silver tone filigree, um, well, scroll design with all these AB crystal rhinestones all around. And that center one is like crazy. Um, this is leather. And this um, can go to 7 inches or 8 inches, I believe. There's the back. Someone put some, I guess, band-aids on there. So that way, uh, I guess it's more comfortable for that person when, when she did wear it. It does say genuine leather underneath that. And it's in, um, I'd say it's okay. I like it. I think it's fun. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think of this? What do you think of this? Um, could use some wiping. But man, wow. Okay, spending too much time on this, moving on. Okay, next up we have this one. This is leather. Panels uh, connected with these uh, silver tone hoops. And it has a uh, skull and crossbones. But what's going on over here? I don't get this. There's a lobster clasp connected to a jump ring, connected to nothing. And then you have this one that has a, it's like the extender. So I guess this, this needs some, uh, this needs something. This needs something to, because I don't even know how you would wear this. How do you wear this? So we have this. I mean, yeah, it's in great condition if someone can uh, fix it. And if you like this kind of jewelry. Okay, next up. Hmm. I see a spot right there. This is a bronze really nice um, bracelet let's see it measures about eight and a quarter inches wow this is really nice though let's look at the back I guess you could wipe it up there is some um, scratches on the uh, hardware and it just uh how's it close oh how does this work this looks like a hinge is that a hinge oh my goodness it is a hinge so this goes in there wow how ingenious this goes in there and that catch secures it and you just snap it into place that is so nice okay let's see if there's any marks no yes yes bronze mylar Italy wow so there, there's a spot here in the back 
Yeah, and there's this one one spot right there in the front that oops focus focus okay so yeah there's a, a spot right there that I could see is it my eyes oh do I see two I don't know I'm just wondering I, I guess you could just uh, hopefully wipe it off but it looks pretty good I mean this is quite well made um, what's going on here Hmm. Nothing major. So we have this really, it's heavy too. Um, bronze, Mylor, Italy uh, bracelet. Okay, next up is this really pretty, wow, this is a purple enamel clamper. Really clean. It has a mark inside. Okay, Jin Long uh, Zing Zing. Um, I believe this is a Hong Kong company, but I think I saw this in the files in um, Texas Gal Treasures. Um, so this is a very nice clamper. This only measures seven inches in circumference. And I think it's really pretty. These two bracelets, um, bangles, I actually will put together because they match perfectly. Like this here looks like this band right there. And look at this. This is immaculate. Really nice. Um, I should measure that. Let me measure them. Let's see what we got. It's about eight. Eight inch circumference. So I'm thinking this is the same. Oh, motorcycle. Okay, let's see. Yeah. So they're both eight inches in circumference. And this will be um, together. Together. Okay, these next two... Um, this one is eight inches in circumference and this is seven and a half. This one, wow, I, what do you think that is? Do you think that's turquoise? Um, the stones are cold to the touch. I, I don't know what they are. If you know, uh, comment. The, um, these silver tone bands do have some, uh, I guess wear on them. I wonder if you just uh, polish it, that would come off. Um, these are magnetic. And this one here, wow. I mean, these actually remind me of Larimar. I mean, if they were, wow, that would be pretty amazing because Larimar is, is quite sought, sought after. So we have these two. There you go. Okay, next we have these uh, four brass bangles. Two of them are polished, and two of them have this really cool design. And they all have some charms. Uh, this one here has a faceted uh, bead. This one has this puffy teardrop with the design on both sides. This one has this puffy flower which is also double-sided. And here's a little elephant double-sided. So these four brass um, bangles with the charms, I will sell as a set together. Together, together, together. Okay, get the idea? I think so. Okay, open cuff. This actually has a sticker inside, well, a partial sticker, and it says India. So I believe this is a copper bracelet, and it has this um, purposely painted uh, patina color uh, coating. But it has this really cool design. 
This open cuff measures seven inches in circumference as is. And that's what it looks like. My wrist is um, six and one quarter. So uh, yeah, we have this really cool open cuff bracelet. Next we have this one. This is also open cuff. This one I believe measures eight inches as is. And it has elephants. Two smaller elephants on the end and hmm, one, two, three, four larger ones with the sun in the middle. Has that textured background, polished um, ends. There's some, well, not much wear, but there's something written in there. Okay, those are Chinese characters, and it says sterling. So, um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. You're not magnetic. So, uh, this one I will test and show you. Oh, you know, I'm in front of the window, and, um, it's really overcast and it's about to like pour, downpour. So the lighting is just a little off, but you know, can you see this? I hope so. So we have this one, which I will test. And then this one here, oh, okay. It's a clamper, really pretty teal color of, um, this leaf design it's texture too okay there's the back it looks brass to me kind of uh, scratched up the inside it looks pretty good this one is actually uh, I believe seven inches no Maybe seven and a half. It's oval. Um, let me uh, let me make sure, just so we're certain. So let's pop that in there and check. Yeah, this is seven inches, seven inches in um, circumference, but it's in really nice condition, and I think it's quite pretty. Yeah. <clears throat> Gunmetal hammered bangles. And they're clean. And they look pretty good. And they sound fun. These um, will be sold together. <clears throat> and these are 8 inches in circumference. And then what's this? Oh, this is pretty too. Any marks? I don't see any marks. But you know, this um, this will be in the craft lot. This is also eight inches in circumference, but it's really nice. It's very nice. It has the um, I don't know. This design makes it look like uh, like it's raised. Train. Oh wait, there is a mark. What's it say? It says it says something. Hang on. Yeah, take a look at these and I'll uh I'll check it out. Still looking. Oh man, it's so hard to of course it's so hard to see because it's it just is. Um, gosh, I can't see it. It's so hard to see. I don't know what that says, but, um, hmm. Hmm. Nope, can't see it. Cannot see that Brizani. Anyway, you know what? <clears throat> 
it's a really pretty bracelet. Um, if you want it, I'll, I'll put it in craft. You could have it for a dollar. Let's see what we got. It doesn't look promising. And, uh, yeah. It's not. Okay, here we have some cluster um, bead necklaces. This one here feels like it's acrylic. Faceted um, round beads in different sizes. There's a gunmetal curb chain and a lobster clasp. This is by someone who I can't remember. Oh, I don't remember. Um, let me know if you if you know, because it's uh, I can't think of it right now. So um, yeah, we have this. Looks to be in pretty nice condition. What's with the chains, huh? What's with the chains? That has to be twisted around, maybe. Let me uh, measure the drop on this and uh, let you know. Hmm, it's about eight and a half, eight and a half inch drop. So we have this one. Pretty fun. Then next, um, okay, this one here, this is glass. Look at these glass faceted beads, aren't they awesome? And these uh, faux pearls are also glass and they have a pretty bead cap underneath them. And then you have smaller faux pearls and you even have these blue. See these blue faceted beads? These are great, I love that color. This is really, um, this is really well made. And it's on this silver tone chain, which is... Okay, there's texture on it. Can you see that? And it's polished on the other side. This one here is made by... I'll tell you in a minute. Aldo. It says Aldo. So we have this really pretty glass bead cluster necklace and this uh, has a drop of about oh it's about the same eight and a half inches and this extender is um, looks to be three inches three inches long so we have these two awesome cluster bead necklaces Okay, we need some color, color, color. Look at this. Wow. These are glass, multicolor, um, some are potato pearls, some are actually round pearls, various sizes, various shapes. Um, this here is one long strand and it measures 22 and a half inches. And um, there's a tag. What's this tag say? It's a barcode. Uh, item not returnable if tag is removed. Um, is this a a strand of of uh, glass pearls for crafting? Um, is this how they are sold, or is this a necklace? I'm 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 liking it as a necklace, you know, because. Just look at these colors. Really beautiful and heavy and glass. So yeah, the colors are amazing. There's like every, you know, look at this red and that pink. So we have this and then we have this one. This here is, look at this. This is, um, they look like semi-precious um, stones of various colors and this has a 
lobster claw clasp with a nice extender. And this one has a drop of, I would say about nine inches. So we have these two awesome colorful necklaces. All right, let's check out some black beaded necklaces. First off, we have this really long one. It is a double strand. Um, okay, one is short, shorter, and it has a really pretty heart pendant. The chain is a dark color as well. It has a um, lobster clasp at the end as well as an extender. So let me measure the length of the drop to the pendant. This one measures approximately um, uh, seven and a half inches and the entire necklace is about 14 inches um, in length. So we have this really very cute, pretty one. Uh, that is unbranded, so there's no maker's mark on this one. So we have that. So next up is this really long one. This is a long one, and it has faceted. Hmm. These um actually feel like glass, and it goes all the way down. They have that disco ball. Well, this one does. Um, faceted design. I wonder if they're glass. You even have these little clusters over here. Really cute. Very long. And let's see. Oh, there is a an extender that has all these uh, beads on them. And there is a tag. Okay, this one says White House Black Market. So this is a, a very nice, very long. Let me measure this. This is really long. Wow, that's about 18 inches. That's how long it is. Um, White House Black Market. <laughs> long necklace. You know what? Yeah, I believe it's glass because it feels cold. It does feel cold. So we have this one. And then next up, this is definitely glass. I know, I know just by looking and by touching and just the weight. And these are gorgeous. I love, well, <clears throat> you know I like glass beads. This one has a, um, a tag LC. So this is a Liz Claiborne faceted glass black beaded necklace with these little uh, spaces in between bicone spacers so let's uh, let's measure this drop it's about seven inches so we have this um, really pretty black glass bead faceted glass bead necklace more like a choker this um, necklace is a uh, vintage it is quite old. It's hand knotted. It has like a very matte black finish. It's um, I don't know if you could polish this. Maybe it can, maybe it could brighten up. Um, there are all these beads with rhinestones on them, and uh, they look to be intact. Yeah, but they, you know, they're a little, um, they're a little faded. They're kind of dull, you know what I mean? So maybe this is something uh, that can be cleaned up. One thing about this necklace is it has that hidden, um, that hidden pearl closure. So the end pearl has this uh, opening and this side has that little pin that you just pop in. So let me try. And 
that's how it closes. So this here has a 11 inch drop. So we have this really nice vintage black. This is glass too. Uh, glass bead necklace with that really cool closure. And last in this group is this awesome, look at this, black glass bead faceted necklace. It has an 11 and a half inch drop. But what's so unique about this one is this. Isn't that awesome? It looks like um, it's brass with all the rhinestones. And I guess this necklace can be worn with this hanging off the bottom or even would you wear it on this? No, I guess you wouldn't wear it on the side. I guess it, yeah, you can wear it hanging as a pendant or at the back of your, um, the nape of your neck. So let me uh, bring you close in again. And here in the back, look at this. It has that box clasp that's on the side. So you press that, and there it is, to release it. There's the train. Um, let me pop it back in. Okay. And um, it is signed. It says La Vintage. Uh, I don't know about La Vintage. But all I know is this is one awesome uh, glass bead necklace because I love this. So what do you think so far of this box? Uh, part two. Uh, there is going to be a part three, most likely. <laughs> 18 pounds. Okay, moving on. Who's feeling blue? Let's start off with this one. Um, large medallion. Wow. These are acrylic beads. Uh, also acrylic beads on the medallion. This is some pendant. Look at look at the size of this. It's like almost the size of my palm. Uh, all the stones are there. It's very intricate, very detailed. There is the back. Um, yeah, there's some wear right there. It is on this triple strand beaded chain. And then you have these two stations up above. They kind of, if I drew eyes and a face, it's like a girl's uh, flippy hairstyle. Um, and then you have the single strand on top. There's a lobster claw clasp and an extender. Not bad. So let's, uh, let's measure the drop on this one. This here measures a almost uh, I would say eight and a half inches <clears throat> to the pendant so we have this very pretty piece next this is uh, hmm like a slate blue really fun panels they feel like you know acrylic maybe lucite there's this gold tone uh, chain polished but I do notice the wear on the extender. So this one is really, I like the color. It's very unique. This has a drop of, I would say about seven and a half inches. So we have this really fun one. That's the reflection. Come on, come on. The thickness is about, you see, it's they're not they're not super thin um, panels. So we have this, and then next this one here, like a turquoise colored stone um, with gold bead spacers. This is a trefari. It's a vintage piece, and if you notice that hang tag, there it is. 
uh, it has a hook closure and it says Trafari right there on the hook. So this has, let's see what drop is on here. Let me place that over there. And this one is a choker. Yeah, it's about six and a half inches. And then with the extender, I mean, that's only two and a half. So we have these three, uh, pretty in blue, right? Yeah. Okay, found a couple more blue necklaces, and then we'll move on to purple. But let's start off with this, this big, chunky one. Look at it. <laughs> It's so fun. There's these huge, look at them. They're clear beads, but they have really pretty faceted champagne colored beads in between. The big beads are round and oblong, but inside of them is like this foil. It, it's like foil wrapped something in there it's really a fun necklace it's double strand held together by uh, these hoops and um, the hoops are hammered and then you have this silver tone chain a nice lobster clasp and an extender the extender has a tiny little heart on the bottom but I don't see a maker's mark on this but I find this necklace to be super uh, fun. I think so. So let's measure the drop on this one. It's so fun. I've never seen something like this. Always like, uh, you know, this is quirky. It's unusual, but it does have some really pretty qualities. Uh, this drop is about seven and a half inches. So we have this statement necklace. Okay, next we have this very long cluster. They feel cold. I believe they're glass. Kind of looks like a whole big vine of grapes in blues and clear faceted um, glass beads with the, um, the chain running through it. You have this very smooth like a gunmetal tone chain a really beautiful elongated lobster clasp and you have um, an extender with loops and a maker's mark this is a Kenneth Cole and it even has that tiny little bead at the end so yeah this is a really nice glass bead uh, I guess I would call that a pendant uh, necklace and the drop on this is about seven and a half inches so we have this really pretty Kenneth Cole pendant necklace okay next we have this multi strand uh, tiered necklace uh, let's see eight strands Different types of chains, different tones of blue, faceted beads. They are acrylic um, in ovals and this like an emerald cut shape and larger ovals. And you even have these um, polished uh, silver tone ones. It is... Let's see, there's a lobster class and an extender. It's really soft, it's really uh, smooth, and it feels uh, it feels good, and it's in a really, uh, I would say, nice condition. I'll let the train go by first. So we have this one. I like it. Let's see what the drop is. It's about um, seven, yeah, about seven inches. And you have an extender, which is only about two inches long. But this is really a pretty, uh, and there's no maker's mark, but this is a pretty uh, multi-strand tiered necklace. Next we have this um, 
triple strand seed bead necklace. It's on a, um, I guess it's on a wire of some sort. It has a, and let me bring you close. It has this um, metallic purple seed bead, and then you have some glass beads, and then acrylic beads that have engravings on them to look like leaves and flowers. So we have this. Um, and a truck outside. So here is the uh, lobster class and a nice extender. Let me measure this and that's only about six and a half inches and you have that very long extender which is, I'd say, what, three, maybe? Yeah, three. So we have this very pretty purple triple strand necklace. Next, we have this really long necklace. Uh, the drop is 18 and a half inches. It's really clean. It's on this beautiful, silky smooth um, gunmetal tone chain. And uh, there's the lobster class. And it, this is actually made by New York and Company. But take a look at this. These are glass faceted beads. And then you have that hematite, uh, like a cube bead in, in, in between. And then look at this. This is like a rectangular block in that hematite tone. Then you move down. You get a darker purple, and at the end, you have this type of purple. It's a light purple with all these uh, black stripes going through it. Kind of looks like an animal print. So you have this design, then the deep purple, then the light, like a lilac, and then smaller uh, purple beads that have some sparkle in them ending off with these two bead caps and here's a closer look at the chain really very nice so we have this really pretty uh, New York and Company long purple glass bead necklace okay everyone that's a wrap on this part two of the unboxing of the 18 pound shop goodwill lot purchase i hope you enjoyed this video tell me what your favorites are comment below and if there's anything that you're interested in purchasing just email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com the instructions are below in the description box as well as after my intro in the beginning of the video thank you so much for spending this time with me on my journey and I hope to see you in the next one. Ring that bell so you get alerted for part three. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a part three. Bye now. Thank you.